dawn, another day begins, powered by the sun. The energy of our nearest star is produced by nuclear fusion and provides the energy for all life on Earth. Fusion is the process of combining the nuclei of two light atoms to form a heavier one. This reaction releases energy that we can harness to generate electricity. Today, scientists from around the world are working together to better understand nuclear fusion. Scientists hope someday to replicate the sun's fusion processes here on Earth. Fusion power plants that will produce a clean, safe source of electricity with an almost unlimited fuel supply. In this video, we'll examine the great promise of fusion energy to understand what it is, why it's important, and what progress is being made in the scientific research programs around the world. To understand the difficulty involved in making electricity with fusion power, we first need to know a bit more about the structure of atoms. Atoms are the building blocks of all the solid, liquid, and gaseous matter on Earth. Shoes, shells, and surfboard lengths, anything we can think of is composed of atoms. Atoms are so small that they can't be seen. To get an idea of the size of atoms, the atoms in the eye of this mouse are about as big in comparison to the mouse as the mouse is to the whole Earth. If we visualize a single atom, we would see a cloud of negatively charged electrons. If we traveled farther into the center of the atom, we would find the tiny, positively charged nucleus that holds the negative cloud of electrons to the atom. These are electrical charges, like the positive and negative poles on a battery. The nucleus of the atom has two types of particles which account for most of the atom's mass. Neutrons, which have no charge, and protons, which have a positive electrical charge. The number of protons in the nucleus is called the atomic number and determines which type of element the atom is. Hydrogen is the simplest element and has only a single proton in the nucleus and so has an atomic number of one. Helium has two protons and so has an atomic number of two and so on up to more complicated atoms like iron and uranium. The arrangement of elements by their atomic numbers makes up the periodic table. In fusion research, we are mostly interested in the lightest nuclei, hydrogen and helium. Although atoms make up the solid matter around us, they're mostly empty space. If the atom with its electron cloud were the size of a classroom, the nucleus would be the size of a grain of sand at its center. Opposite electrical charges attract each other, and like charges repel one another, just like the poles of a magnet. This powerful force of attraction, called the electric force, between the negative electrons and the positive protons, is what keeps the structure of atoms together. If like charges repel, why do the positively charged protons stay packed together in the atomic nucleus? If it was not for another type of attractive force called the nuclear force, the nucleus would fly apart. The nuclear force is powerful, but only over the extremely short ranges inside the atomic nucleus.